Greetings, I'm Squared here. Today we are going to talk about writing linear inequalities. So we've been graphing them. So I'll give you an inequality, two variables, an x and a y, and ask you to graph it and then shade one side of the line or the other. So let's remember all those things. A dashed line would mean it's either less than or greater than. That's where we get the dashed line. If we have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, that's where we get the solid line. We want to remember from graphing that we want a y-intercept. Graphing in slope-intercept form is going to be the easiest one, so we're going to get a y-intercept, and we're going to get a slope. So those are the two things that will help us, because then we can write y equals mx plus b. We can put the slope in there and the y-intercept in there. So off to the races. Important to understand the graph, because sometimes they try to trick us. See how they're not counting by ones, they're counting by twos. So we want to be very aware of that. Also, remember that a less than or a less than or equal to these guys, we shaded below the line, shade below. And then these guys, we shaded above. So when I look at this, sometimes it, when I was a student, it was hard for me to say whether that was below or above. So I always tested a point. But if this is our line. If I move it a little bit, this is below. So the slope is just a little steeper, but this is below and this is above. It gets a little weird. But once you write it, I'll show you how to test a point. So what's our slope? So it looks, when I do my slope, I want to go to a grid point and then go to another grid point, and I want to see rise over run. Slope is rise over run. That's 2, 4, 6, and 2. So that's 6 over 2 is my slope, which is just 3. So now I know it's y and a 3x. My y-intercept is 4, so it's plus 4. And then I try to determine, is it a less than or greater than sign? So to me, it's below the line, but I'm not sure. So I plug a point in. The easiest point, you can plug any point in you want, 2, 0, 4, 2. You plug any point in. You take the x value, plug it in for x. The y value, plug it in for y, and see if it's true. If it's true, you know it's in the shaded region. So if I plug 0, 0 in here, I get 0 is less than 0 plus 4. And 0 is less than 4. This is my testing point if I'm not sure about the below the line, above the line. So because that is true, I know that that is in the correct region. If I had put a greater than sign, it would have said 0 is greater than 4. It's not. 0 isn't bigger than 4. So this isn't included in the solution set, so I need this guy, right? This, this is the solution set, so I need that point to be true. So this is my inequality. Notice I put a less than because it was dashed. Sometimes I forget that, and then I have to figure it out later. OK, moving on to this one. Again, I need a slope and a y-intercept. And it's above the line, so it's going to be greater. It's going to be greater than or equal to because of that solid line. So you might want to do that first. The y-intercept is 1, because I'm counting by 2s. So I know it's a plus 1. The slope, I can see that it goes from right here up 1 over 3, and then up 1 and over 3 more. So I know the slope is 1 third x. And that's going to be y is greater than or equal to 1 third x. If I'm not sure, I could always test a point. 0, 0 is 0 bigger than or equal to 1. Oh, it is not. So that tells me I did something wrong. Did you catch it? I meant to, I should have put a negative one. A y-intercept of 1 is up there. That's why I always test my points, because I make little mistakes. So make sure you test your point. It was false, and then I had to figure out what my mistake was. Well, the y-intercept isn't up there. It's right there. OK, so is 0 bigger than negative 1? Yes, it is. Let's go on to this one. So I see the dashed line. Looks like it's below, so I'm assuming it's going to be a less than. And let's find our slope and our y-intercept. So it looks like our y-intercept is negative 4. And then I'm going to go up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It looks like up 10 over 2. So 10 left 2, that would be negative. So my slope is negative 5. And if that is my equation, let's, I'm going to test 0, 0 again. And I want it, it's, I want it to be false, because if it was true, then I would have shaded this way. So is 0 less than negative 4? No, it's not. So that means 0, 0 is not a point in my solution set. So I found the y-intercept. I found the slope. I knew it was less than because of the dashed, and it shaded below. So there it is. Alrighty. Now this one isn't a slanted line. It's just a 
horizontal line. I don't know if you remember that, but all horizontal lines have y equals. This is y equals 1, this is y equals 2, this is y equals 3, this is y equals 0. Some people get confused because they're saying, no, that's the x-axis. It can't be y equals 0. But it is. The reason it's y equals 0 is because every point on here is a y of 0. You're over 2 but up 0. You're over 4 but up 0. Every point has a y equals 0, so we call it y equals 0 because every single point on the line has the same y value. So since it's dashed and above, it's just y is greater than 1. And I can test a point. I can't put an x in because there's no x. So like right here, it's 0, 0. So I would just say, is 0 bigger than 1? No, it's not. If I test this point, which is in the solution set, is 4 bigger than 1? Yes, it is. So I know I'm right. Alrighty, two more. So y-intercept, 4. And it's positive 4. It's a positive slope line, and it's solid. So I know I'm going to have, and it's shaded below, so I'm going to have a less than or equal to. So now I need to find my slope. Looks like right here and right there. So if I go up to 4, 6, and over... So up 6 over 4, that's 6 over 4, that's 3 halves x. So that's the inequality for this graph, and I could always test a point. I'm expecting 0, 0 to be true because it's in the solution set. Is 0 less than 4? Yes, it is. 0 would make that go away too. So there's my solution set. Last one. So this one right here, we have a vertical line, and all vertical lines are x equals lines. So that's x equals 2, that's x equals 4, that's x equals 6. So right between x equals 4 and x equals 6 is x equals 5. But it's not equals because it's dashed, and it's to the left, which means less than. So I know it's just less than. x is less than 5. So those vertical and horizontal ones, if you remember, can be this, the easiest ones. Um, but if you forget what it's like, you're, you don't know what to do. So remember, vertical lines are x equals lines. Horizontal lines are y equals lines. Good luck writing equations. Inequalities, I should say. M squared, sign it out.